Well, who died? What? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. Just a little recap of the last episode. We did not really a triple date, but we had three different dates happen in the last episode. We had Princess Leilana of Sulani go on a date with Lord Jaden, and theirs went really well. They had their first kiss, and he saw that she was a mermaid and everything as well. And then the second date we had was Prince James of Brindleton Bay and Lord Ian, so they got to go on their date, and theirs went pretty well as well. And then we also had our third date, which was Princess Amira and Makai of Sulani, so they got to, I mean, their date went well also, guys, so all the dates pretty much went well. I haven't posted that video yet, so I haven't seen anyone's comments or responses to those, but I just wanted to go over that, so just give you guys a little recap. So in this episode, Princess Amira is going to turn into a young adult, you guys, and that is a huge thing. I actually don't even know if I'm ready for this yet, but it's going to happen, and then I believe by the end of the episode, I think that Queen Evangeline and King Henry might might be having their baby, so I'm super, super excited about that as well. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on your notifications if you have not already. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay, so as of right now, it looks like Queen Evangeline, oh, I, uh, uh, I need to change her name back to Queen Evangeline. It wouldn't fit right now because like I was editing something in Create a Sim and it, I had to change her name back to Queen Ava. So in case you're wondering why it says like Queen Ava sometimes, that is why. But it looks like her and King Henry are still on their honeymoon, but they should be back pretty, pretty soon. So, oh my gosh, and I have no idea what the heck is going on with my portraits here. It just does this every once in a while. Oh wait, I wanna like show you guys. It just does this every once in a while. Like, look at this, this looks like a broken TV screen or something that is so so strange but I'm not too worried because most of the time they come back and look normal hopefully they do I'm gonna oh my gosh look at King Henry's right here oh speaking of we need to do Queen Ava's portrait too but I should probably wait till she has her baby because right now she is very very pregnant so I'll wait until we finish that so for the birthday party I think I am going to have her birthday party just here because it's like her big big young adult birthday party so I feel like this is like Basically her turning 18 would be the equivalent in the real world. So I think we're just going to have it here. Might do a little bit of decor. I didn't think of anything. I was trying to think of like, should we do like a theme or something like that? But honestly, I usually save most of like our very, very extravagant decorated events and parties for like my Dynasty series, which I haven't done a Dynasty series episode in a while, but I really want to very, very soon. So I'll get to that. I just haven't had much time to like plan the episodes and such. So we'll definitely go ahead and do that. I do think though that Princess Amira and Princess May are still mad at each other because of what happened at the wedding. So there is, is some tension between them. They're not like outright arguing anymore, but there is some tension. So we, hopefully that will change pretty soon. I did have some people that were pretty upset that Princess Amira is not engaged to Prince Johan anymore. And my theory for it is kind of like, well, she wasn't happy with Prince Johan but I don't know, maybe maybe they'll find their way back to each other. I Princess Mary is not a bad person, you guys. I really do like her a lot. I think she's just very immature, and I think she's just going through a very hard teenager phase. I feel like she has a lot of pressure on her because she's the oldest of three and, like, of course, a princess. And I feel like she might even be a little bit resentful that she's not the heir to the throne because of Oasis Springs. Their oldest daughter gets to be the heir to the throne, so why doesn't she get to be the heir to the throne? So I think that is basically what Princess Amira is kind of, not issue, but like what her thing is and why she's kind of just the way she is. I think she'll grow out of it. So I don't think she's a bad person. So I just want to say that, but maybe her and Prince Johan will find each other eventually. But right now, Princess May is engaged to Prince Johan. So that is that right now. So I'm going to have Princess May do her homework. And then we're going to have Prince Kellen do his homework. And Princess Amira. Oh, which, oh yeah, you're doing your homework too. Okay, so I think we're going to have King Henry and Queen Evangeline go ahead and come home. They've just gotten back from their honeymoon just in time for Princess Amira's birthday party. So, oh my goodness, look how pregnant she is. Ooh, and I can change her name too to, ooh, oh yeah, no, I need to rename and then Queen Evangel, Evangeline. Okay, so now I have her name back to the way it was. And I did, like people pointed out to me too, because 
as most of you guys know, for the Marquis, for their wives, I think I pretty much had like the female version of Marquis on their name, but it's supposed to be Marchioness, but I just could barely fit any names if they had the title of Marchioness. So I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Um, so I was probably going to go ahead and just change them all to Marchioness now that I have this mod that makes the names longer. So that is a good thing. Okay. So, Princess Amira, oh, Marquis Anna, we're about to, oh yeah, March, it would be Marchioness Anna now. Um, we, it's gonna take me a while to get used to that for sure. So, oh, also, I, if you guys can see, I did get like a new stand for my microphone. So I'm like trying to figure it out. So I just wanna make sure that I'm like talking correctly into the mic and everything. And I got this like cool pop filter for it too. So I'm kind of excited. It was actually like super cheap on Amazon too. So if you're ever looking for something like this, definitely check out Amazon because they've got great, great, things so yeah okay so I just wanted to make sure that I'm like speaking into it correctly because I finally figured out the settings for it too which I I've had this microphone for so long and I'm like why does my sound still sound so bad and then I like looked up a video of how to actually use it and I was like oh that makes sense so now I have figured out how to use it so we'll see when I edit the video if it actually is working pretty well or not so anyway okay so sorry I'm like talking so much guys too I was like editing my last video that I posted or I haven't posted it yet but that I will have posted when this video goes up and I was like oh my gosh I talk so much in the beginning of episodes but hopefully it just gives you guys enough information that you need so okay so we want to do a birthday party and I don't know if Princess Amira should plan it or if King Henry should plan it because I'm trying to think who like like, would know the more people. Probably Princess Anna, because she knows like all of her friends and everything. I just need to make sure that she knows like all of her family members too. I hope she does. If not, that might be a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and have our birthday party. And then ah, they have their like party outfits, but I want it to be a formal outfit. It's okay. I think it's fine. I think you guys have seen Princess Anna's for, oh, not Princess Anna, Princess Amira's formal outfit a good amount of times, but it should be okay. So we're gonna have our guests, so everybody. So we're gonna have, of course, her family. We will, ooh, guys, I never thought of this. I forgot about like Lord Wyatt, Prince Johan, of course. He's required to come, so we'll invite him. And then I guess we'll invite like the kings and queens and everyone too. I guess we could do that. Lord Franklin, I'm pretty sure, is that her cousin? No, it's not her cousin. It's her second cousin, because I think it's her dad's cousin. So invite Lord Franklin, Prince Francis. Francisco, Lady Arya. Uh, I think this sh should be, this should also be adults. I don't think this should just be like a teenager party. So Princess Leilana, Mackay, which things have been going pretty well with them. Prince Louis, Princess Cora, King Edmund, Princess Belle. Oh, sorry guys. Every time I do the invite list, you guys just see like every single person that I'm inviting. So hopefully this is enough for you guys. Oh wait, why is Lady Aurora not on her guest list? I guess she doesn't know Lady Aurora enough. Oh, that's kind of sad that her other cousin doesn't get to be invited though. Like, I feel like she should. Uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll invite them later on. I think that should be everybody. And then the caterer, uh, yeah, we'll hire a caterer. And then a mixologist, sure, because now she's gonna be a young adult. She can actually drink now. And then an entertainer, sure. Okay, so birthday party will be at the royal family of Windenburg residence. So guys, it is Princess Amira's birthday party. Does she have another party outfit that I chose for her? Because I kind of want her to wear something else. I do! Okay, so this is her new party outfit that I have. This is actually the dress that her mother, Queen Alice, would wear as an everyday outfit sometimes. So I just thought it was kind of appropriate to have her wear that here now. So she looks beautiful, you guys. I love this. And then of course her favorite color is pink and then Princess May's favorite color is purple. So Princess May right now is wearing, I think this is a new dress for her. I don't know. No, I know. I think you guys might've actually already seen this, but let me see if I do have a new party outfit for her. No, I don't. I do need to pick something else for her, but I can do that later on. So. Everyone is in their party outfits. And then we have Queen Evangeline too. She's in her party outfit and she's so pregnant, you guys. I don't think she'll be having her baby until after the party's over. So it won't take the spotlight away from Princess Amira. So that is okay. She actually did have like still a good amount of time. Oh no, she had like 
three days before she actually aged up. So I think this is, was definitely a good time to age her up. And then Prince Johan, I think Makai is about the same age as Prince Johan. So he should be aging up pretty soon. Maybe I'll just age up Prince Makai or Prince Makai. Maybe I'll just age up Makai at this birthday party. I think I could do that. And then I uh, think Prince Johan will be like maybe in a few days or so will be his birthday. So we can worry about that later. I definitely don't think Princess Amira would want to share a birthday with Prince Johan or anyone really to be completely honest. So we can do that later. So I'm trying to think who should bake the cake. I probably should have done it before the birthday party. Prince Kellen was able to bake the cake for the wedding in the in the few episodes ago. So maybe I'll have him bake her cake too. So I let's see what kind of cake would she want? We have, I feel like the white cake is like too plain for her. Maybe this winter cake. Oh, it's winter. Yeah, yeah. We can have, we can do the winter cake. So he is going to be baking her cake after he finishes his homework, which I feel like he's been doing for a really long time. Maybe this is just some really hard assignment that he's trying to do. Maybe I will have Queen Evangeline help him and help her, help him finish that. So help. Oh no, F finish homework, help help with homework. Can I not do that? Okay, apparently she can't help him with his homework and I don't know why. So uh, I guess Prince Kelly is just gonna have to finish that as soon as possible. Then he can bake the cake. And I do know that it's probably going to take a while before all the guests arrive and Oh gosh, hopefully nobody dies because it is cold out for sure. So I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on this because I'm just so scarred from like all the other people dying of the cold before. So like seriously though, like, oh my gosh, Makai. Oh, Makai. So this is his party outfit, I guess. I'm probably going to have him change into something else. Oh my gosh, they must be freezing. It's freezing. You can't wear this. <laughs> you cannot. Okay, party outfit. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. let's change it to something else. And then we have Queen Lokalani. Is that her party outfit? Okay, I've changed everyone into some warmer clothes that needed to be changed. I think that Princess Amira, for sure, one of her responsibilities, even though it's her own birthday party, she definitely needs to greet all the guests. So she should thank them for coming. We should get as much of the, uh, let's see, why can't I thank, why can't I thank them for coming? I guess I can't do that. I don't know. Okay. Well, I was trying to get as much of the character values in as I could. Is she in range to earn the responsibility trait? Cause I would really, really like her to have that. Definitely doesn't have emotional control, empathy, or conflict resolution, but she's not like totally, totally in the red for those. So I think it should be fine. If she had like homework or something, I'm just trying to think of like a way she could get better responsibility, but I don't know if she's in range. I hope she's in range to earn that. It didn't, it didn't say. But Princess Amira, yes, you need to greet everybody. So greet your cousin, Sadira. And then of course, I wish Lady Aurora was here though. Maybe I should have one of our other Sims invite her. Maybe just ask her about day. Who knows her? I think King Henry might know her really well. So invite over, there we go. Yep, invite over Lady Aurora. Invite to hang out on current lot because your entire family is here and I feel really bad that she's not here. So we can say hi to their other cousin. So Lady Ezra, ask about day. You can say hi to Queen Lokalani. What is King, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, uh, what is King Henry or Prince Kellen? What are you wearing? This is not, nah. -uh. That is your party outfit? Okay, I need to change that apparently. Should I do formal or should I do it her his every day? Let's do your, I don't, he doesn't need to be that formal though. Like it's, a, it's a, her birthday party. His everyday outfit is pretty nice looking. He wears it a lot though. I should probably come up with different outfits for him too, but I can do that later on. So Princess Meg, oh wait, did did she invite like Princess Megan and all of them? I don't know if she did. Uh, Princess Megan. Oh, she's not here. Okay, start gathering. We're just gonna invite the entire teen club over so everybody can come over. Okay, so I think I wanna invite everyone over to dance. So dance here and then I can just have everyone go dance because it's a party of course. Oh wait, oh wait, she had the option to dance together. She's about to not be the leader of the Royal Teen Club anymore. And Princess May is supposed to take over the Royal Teen Club, but I'm wondering since she is not happy with Princess May right now, if she might give it to somebody else, you guys. Can she do that though? Like if, yeah, or, or does the person have to ask her or can she like step down as leader? Let's see. Oh no. Okay, I guess you can't step down as leader or I think they would have to convince her to step down. So this is a little confusing. So I don't think she can just pass it along to someone else. Like maybe she would want to pass it along to Princess Belle. 
but I think it's fine. We can, we can see what end up, what ends up happening because she really created this club so she could be the leader of it too. And she's, you know, of course, totally going to be creating her own club when she's older too. Probably not going to be like a royal adult club. Like that seems a little weird, um, but it w might be like, like a socialite sort of club, like a royal socialite sort of thing. So you guys can let me know what you think of like names for that. But I think Princess Amir is definitely going to do that so she can still have her little like friend group and all of that as well. So we can definitely definitely do that. So we have here Princess Leilana. I love her so, so much. Ooh, Princess Leilana is talking to Prince Jack, you guys. So she, in the last episode, did go on a date with Lord Jaden, but I did say that I would have her go on a date with Prince Jack and see who she gets along better with because Prince Jack doesn't really have anyone that he's dating to, and he's a prince too, so he might be like the favored person to for her to date, because like from her parents, because he is a prince. I don't know. With, with Lord Jaden, I really like them together, but I, I think they can just go on a date. So I'll probably have them do that in the next episode, but it did look like she was talking to him. So I think there's some sort of interest going on with them. So, okay, let's see if the cake is ready because, oh gosh, guys, I don't know if I'm ready to have Princess Amira blow out the cake and like become an adult. That's going to be such a huge thing. Where is, the <gasps> someone already took a bite of it. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, all right, we gotta make another cake then. Oh, but you know what? I'm never going to have to deal with like forgetting the cake again and and having to have the party run out before we're finished like baking a cake or before we can blow out the candles because now I have the mod where I can have a party as long as I want to so that's good oh god oh my gosh that was always such a big thing for me too so I'm really glad that won't be an issue anymore so we are gonna have uh, Prince Kellen bake a cake it looks like Queen Cora is in here I had this crown for her party outfit but it's such like a princess crown to me like I'm pretty sure Princess Belle wears this crown in like her formal outfit or something like that. So I should probably change that, but I can definitely do that later on. Oh, wow. That was so, so quick for the cake. Okay. Yay. Okay. So Amir is going to age up first and then I will have Makai age up right after her. So bring the cake right over here and then we're going to add some birthday candles. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I'm so, I'm like excited and nervous and like, like not like anxious all at the same time and I don't know what to do. Okay. So I actually, people kept eating the the cake before Princess Amira got to it. So this is actually taken forever because now it's 8 a.m. and it was like 1 a.m. like when I had just first put the cake on there. So, oh my goodness gracious. So take a vacation day, take a vacation day, take a vacation day. So you guys do not have to go to school. Princess Amira is going to blow up the candles and become an adult though, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not prepared, you guys. She's gonna become a young adult. Oh my gosh, she's blowing up the candles now. She's not gonna be a teenager anymore. She's gonna grow up, you guys. They're growing up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Princess Amira aged up, you guys. Should I make her last trait random? I kind of want to. She got proper. Oh, right. This is this is one of the new the new traits that I got. Oh, proper etiquette has quite become a thing of the past. Luckily, proper sims still remember the old ways and conduct themselves by the code of honor, or at least a code of nice manners. Oh, you guys, I feel like that fits her. Like, I feel like it's kind of like, like snobby a little bit, but not like, not as like seen of a neg as a negative thing. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Well, if that's good because she, now she has one good trait because she had self-absorbed and she had hot headed, but she's proper now. Oh my God. You guys, I love that. That's such like a princess Amira thing too. And I'm going to have to change her outfits too. So they're like a little bit more mature, but before anyone else takes a bite of this cake, we need Makai to blow out the candles. So add birthday candles and then oh, we're going sure. to age up a different sim. So she wants to age up Makai Sulani. So he's gonna age up, you guys, I'm so excited. Oh no, is Princess or is Queen Ava? Oh, her boss is calling. She's supposed to be taking a vacation day. She should be on maternity leave because she should be having her baby in like a few hours. So I don't think that's like, she, does, she shouldn't have to go to work. Also, I don't think I actually, I don't think I promoted her to queen. She's still a courtier, so I definitely need to do that soon, but I can do that later on. 
So, Princess Amira, well, it looks like Makai, is he blowing out the candles yet? Did he, oh wait, did he leave? <gasps> wait, no, I don't think he left. Is he still, he is still here. Okay, Makai's becoming a young adult too, you guys. I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm so excited. And then Prince Johan will age up and then Princess May will age up in several episodes or so. So I'm so excited, you guys. So very excited. I like that their outfits and everything don't change when they become a young, young adult because sometimes, guys, the outfits that happen when when the kid becomes a teenager or something, it's just actually ridiculous. Like, I do not like some of the outfits. Whoa, is she playing Sims 2? Oh my gosh, I, oh no, she stopped. Oh, come on. She didn't want me to see her playing Sims, apparently. We technically still have the party going on. It is definitely morning time. I think that she should probably tell Lord Wyatt, because it's been a while. Maybe she should tell him that she just wants to be friends, ask to just be friends. Because now, I mean, first of all, Lord Wyatt's still a teenager, I'm pretty sure. So I think he's about the same age as Princess Amir too, though. Like he should be turning into a young adult pretty soon, but I think he still had this like flirting thing going on. But since she's getting a little bit more serious with Makai, maybe she should start telling the other Sims that she had a little bit of romantic relationships with that like she just wants to be- Whoa! Whoa, you guys. Uh, I don't think that was asking to be friends. Like she was supposed to ask him to be friends and that's definitely not how you ask someone to just be friends. Okay, is she doing it now? Because you can't just kiss him. Like you were having romantic relations. Okay, take back, pay time out, pay time off. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys, I feel like now Princess Amira, since she is a young adult, she oh, is much more, like she's starting to mature a little bit for sure. So not really too much into the immature stuff of like flirting with a bunch of guys. Oh wait, she just passed Makai on the stairs. Talk to Makai, say hi to him. So she is not as into like flirting with a bunch of guys and like, you know, being immature and jealous. Like I feel like she's growing out of the jealousy thing. I feel like she just had some insecure things going on when she was a teenager. So now she's growing out of that. So I think, She's definitely starting to grow up, you guys, and I'm super, super excited. Also, Prince Kellen, you should probably talk to Princess Megan wherever she is. I don't, who is this? Who are you? Oh, that's the entertainer. Okay, I was like, I don't remember inviting that sim. I've never seen that sim before. Okay, so I feel like it's about time to end the birthday party. I think Princess Amira had fun. I feel like there wasn't like too much that was happening, but I think she still had fun. So I'm gonna end the birthday party because it is like 2 p.m. the next day. So we did only get a bronze medal for that, but I think it's fine. Princess Amira is now a young adult. Don't you guys, I'm so, so excited. I swear though, guys, she looks like a Barbie. Like it's a little bit much, but she definitely, she has her mother's face shape for sure. And then I think Princess May has her father's face shape. So it's just interesting. And I think Princess Kellen, or Prince Kellen also has his father's face shape. Everyone seems to be standing awfully still. And I'm kind of wondering if like some sort of glitch is happening right now, because I feel like this is a little bit too still. Like usually everyone leaves a party when when I press the end button. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe I should just like reset everybody right now because I don't quite know what's happening. Okay guys, um, uh, it's, well, first of all, Queen Evangeline's going into labor, but second of all, I just saw the Grim Reaper downstairs. Why? Why is the Grim Reaper here? Who died? Wait, I didn't see anything about anyone dying. What? Why is he here? Who plead? One does not plead with the Grim Reaper before the reaping. Well, who died? What? <gasps> you guys! Are you kidding me right now? King Adrian! He died! Wait, from what? What did he die from? Someone tell me. I'm missing information here. What? He did not die from being cold because that was my fear. Are you kidding me? What happened? Why is the Grim Reaper on an iPad? Oh my gosh. What is happening right now? Oh my god, you guys, wait! Wait! King Adrian died! Oh my god, that means that Princess Ney is gonna become queen as a teenager. <gasps> you guys! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, why? What happened? Oh my god, wait, how did he die? How did he die? What do I do? Oh, oh, oh no, again, Queen Evangeline, we took too long. She's having a baby now. Oh my god, there's so much happening that I was not expecting. What is happening right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm still in shock about King Adrian. Wait, what? 
He's so young, he's not even an elder yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm pulling up my list of, of baby name suggestions from the from like the, the past few episodes. So for boy names, some really cool names that I like. There's Kedus, spelled K-E-D-U-S. That one's really cool. Charles is cool. I think we have a lot of Andrews, but that was a suggestion, but I think we have a lot suggested, or we have a lot of Sims named Andrew right now. Ryan, we have George. We have a, a Neptune, which is cool. Corbin, Adam, we have Clayton, which I don't know if that's too much of a, like a, or much of a royal name. I think that's more of, maybe, maybe Clayton would be something for our Dynasty series. We have Cornelius. Ooh, that's a good one. We have Frederick and Trevor. Ooh, okay. So I really like Charles, you guys, I think. I like Cornelius too, Prince Cornelius. That sounds pretty cool. Cornelius, that would be a new name for the Winterberg family. We have Alexander, that's one. Ooh, okay. I think though, guys, I think I'm gonna go with Charles. I don't think we have a sim named Charles. Wait, do we? I don't think do. Ooh, I don't remember. Well, I hope not because I really like that name, but I feel like that would be a name that I would have done already in, in the past, but I don't think I have. So I think we're gonna go with Charles, you guys. But if there's another sim named Charles, maybe I'll go with Cornelius, <laughs> um, but it's okay. We can go with Charles. So I will name him Prince Charles Windenburg. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Prince. Charles. For Windenburg, I very much go with, oh, no, that's not how you spell Charles. I very much go with, like, more very common names for Windenburg. For the other families, I think we can go with, like, a little bit different names, but I just like to keep them very traditional, very classic. So, I like Prince Charles. I think we're gonna go, oh my god, what? Are you kidding me? We have twins? <gasps> okay. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. I was not, okay, I was not expecting twins, you guys. Um, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a big family. Okay, well, I, do, we did get, of course, good, good name for girls as well. We have like Eloise, Cassandra, we have Venus, and we have Nyla, Maria, Rose. Those are all really great names and I like them a lot. I did promise one of the viewers a long time ago though that I would name one of the Sims Bellatrix. So I think we're gonna go with that. That's really long though. So, ooh, oh, okay. I think it's gonna have to be for now Princess Bella. And then her full name, I will change to Bellatrix when she turns into a toddler because I don't think I can do that at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, Bella, Tri, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be Princess Bella for now. And then when she turns into a toddler, I can go into rename and I can name her Princess Bellatrix. So we'll just have to do that for now. Oh my God, I was like, oh, please don't have a triplet. I do not want triplets right now. So, oh gosh, guys, I have not done a, like, I, I don't have rooms picked out. I don't even know if we have enough rooms for them. Like we're gonna have to end up turning the nursery into a bedroom because this could be one of their bedrooms in the future. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? Oh, oh no, you missed it. Prince Yo, is that Prince Johan? Yeah, his hair or his head was like is stuck in the pillows and he looked headless. It was so, so funny. And of course we have floating babies for sure. Oh my God, I cannot wait until they turn into toddlers and they age up though, guys. I'm so excited. Well, I do think that I will save the uh, turning into the nurseries. I think I'm going to save that for one of the behind the scenes episodes for my Patreon members. So if you're on Patreon, you can definitely see me doing that and for those also guys just so you know i probably won't have a face cam for the bonus videos and behind the scenes videos but i think you guys will still enjoy it so guys i think i'm going to end this episode here i cannot believe that king ha uh king adrian died so i think in the next episode we're gonna have a coronation ceremony for princess naya to become queen naya oh my gosh she's gonna be like what like the youngest queen, I think so far, guys. I don't think I've had a queen or a king become like a king or queen as a teenager. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? I think it was just karma for King Adrian. I think all those affairs and stuff that he had, it's just like coming back to bite him in the butt. So he ended up dying early, apparently. Ooh, okay. Well, I was not expecting any of this to happen, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of King Adrian dying. I, I have to find out what he died from. I'm gonna have to find that out later on too. And I'll be able to tell when I see his ghost. Let me know what you think of our new twins of Winberg. I don't know if King Henry and the Queen Evangeline should have more children because that's already two and the house is going to be very, very full soon. But I'm just so excited to see them as toddlers and everything too. So very excited to see that. Let me know what you think of Princess Amira and her new trait as 
as being proper and like just being a grown up now because I think she's starting to mature and grow out of her teenage phase that she was having. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please don't forget to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. I'd love for you guys to give that a check out. Please support it if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!